Alpha. Hello and welcome to the all new looking Alpha Insights. Uh, my name is Heath McKinley, I'm a product specialist for Sony Australia. For those of you who've joined me in the past, don't worry, Mark Gaylor and Felicia Smith will be back. We have some travel restrictions here in Melbourne at the moment, so uh, I'll be handling a few videos on my own for a while. In this video, we're gonna be talking about pixel shift multi-shooting mode on the Alpha 7R3 and Alpha 7R4 cameras. So this video is gonna try and maybe explain what, those, what that feature is, and also explain when you would be using that, um, that pixel shift multi-shooting mode. I've seen a few people online uh, mentioning they want you want to use it for landscapes um, and for exterior sort of shooting to try and get maximum resolution from their 7R3 and 7R4 cameras. Um, I would recommend against using pixel shift multi-shooting mode outside. Uh, and the main reason for that is what happens when you do a, a pixel shift multi-shooting mode image is the sensor shifts the image across half a pixel between each frame. On the 7R3 camera, you can shoot four frames, but on the Alpha 7R4, you can shoot up to 16 frames pixel shifted. So what happens when you shift that image like that is you actually end up with movement. So any uh, leaves or trees that may be moving within your scene will end up as a blurry, ghosted kind of uh, effect in the final image. So I would recommend shooting pixel shift multi-shooting mode indoors only. It's fantastic for shooting architectural interiors, still life images, or what I used to use it for in the past, for shooting artwork reproductions. So with the uh, 16 frames you get stitched together from the Alpha 7R4, you actually end up with a 240 megapixel file. That's a big file. Uh, but not only is it maximum resolution, you're also getting the best color representation by shifting the image across those pixels uh, you're getting parts of the image to cover different colored parts of the sensor. So whether it's red, green, or blue pixels on the sensor as part of the Bayer sensor array, by shifting the image around, you actually get a better representation of the color that's in that scene. So as we can see in this image here, I've got a painting lovingly donated by the children from my son's daycare center. Uh, this is a picture of the indigenous Australian story of Bunjil the Crow returning to the stars with his family. So we're going to shoot 16 frames, uh, pixel shifted, and the camera is tethered to the Imaging Edge software app on my computer. You don't have to use the computer uh, tethered when you do the shoot. You can shoot those 16 frames uh, in camera and the metadata in those files will be recorded as they are part of a pixel shift uh, series. And when you bring them into software such as Imaging Edge, uh, you can then stitch them together later. But for the convenience of this uh, tutorial, we're just gonna do that in camera. So how do I set pixel shift though? Uh, what you wanna do is go to camera tab one, and on the Alpha 7R4, that's on page three, but it's the drive mode you're looking for. You wanna go down from there to where it says pixel shift multi-shoot. And on the Alpha 7R3, you've got four images. On the Alpha 7R4, you can choose four or 16. Uh, and the other setting you can choose is the duration of time between each frame. Shortest is obviously the shortest possible time the camera can do. Um, and you can then choose from one second up to 30 seconds of interval between each frame. So the reason you wanna do this, um, obviously, like I said before, uh, in a still and stable environment is to stop blurring and ghosting. And that's another reason why you want, may wanna choose a bit longer time frame. If you do have a subject that uh, maybe there's a bit of movement in the room, it allows you some time for the uh, subject to settle again. Okay. Here I am in the Imaging Edge software on my computer. As you can see, I have the painting all framed up. Now, I do like to leave some space around the subject. That allows me to crop in and get some nice, clean, straight edges. Obviously, that gets rid of any barrel distortion you may get when you're shooting images like this one. Now, as you can see, I have all my camera settings in the computer and I can hit shoot directly from the computer without having to touch the camera at all. And speaking of shooting, here we have the camera in pixel shift multi-shooting mode, firing away those 16 frames. They're all gonna be captured in the camera, but also on the computer as well. So we do have a redundancy back up there. And next up, what we're gonna see is the Imaging Edge Viewer. That gives you all the images that have just been taken. And as we can see down here in the right-hand corner, we have our ARQ file, which is our composite of the 16 images all put together automatically when tethered to the computer. And that's one of the great things about shooting tethered, it all just happens straight away for you. 
Okay, so now that we have our pixel shift image, let's jump into Photoshop and have a look at the differences between an ordinary RAW file and the 16 times pixel shift image. Looking at the standard RAW file here, we can see the physical image size is roughly 80 by 53 centimeters at 344 megabytes for the 16-bit file in Photoshop. Uh, now, moving over to the pixel shift image, we can see that the physical size of the image has doubled up to 160 centimeters by 107 centimeters and 1.35 gigabytes for a 16-bit file in Photoshop. So that's 1.6 meters on the long edge, roughly 63 inches, or just over five feet, which is pretty amazing. And uh, now let's go and have a look at the final image. So here we can see the cropped and color graded image. This is gonna be perfect for making reproduction prints, uh, even larger than the original painting was actually done if we need to. Um, and we can go in and have a look at the 100% crop as well. Now you can see all the fine detail in the canvas and the paint, and that's what Pixel Shift is really all about. It's about those finer details. So as you can see, Pixel Shift multi-shooting mode, it's a very niche subject. Uh, it's not used for everybody all the time, but for those of you who may wanna do some still life or some artwork reproduction, or just uh, getting photographs, the most resolution you can of some interior scenes, then Pixel Shift multi-shooting mode is something you can look at. Okay, so that wraps it up for Pixel Shift multi-shooting mode on the Alpha 7 R3 and Alpha 7 R4 cameras. If there's anything I didn't cover, or if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments down below. If you found the information in this video useful, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to the channel as well. But for now, that's it from me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.